Ladies and gentlemen, the horses are moving onto the uh, track this evening's 11th race. Tonight's feature race, the $46,000 final, the uh, two-year-old filly Pink Bonnet Pace. Racing one mile, a field of nine. Here's the lineup. Number one, a daughter of Amber Crombie. Of our Mark West Racing Stable, Holmes and Ainsworth of Ontario, Canada. Larry Ainsworth is the uh, trainer. Finishing second to buy a nose behind uh, glitters like goal in her elimination. Only her third career start this evening. She'll score from off the rail. Reginald Gaskin driving all through the night. The uh, stable mate 1A is a daughter of Jate Lobel, owned by Mark West Racing. Lady APA Stable and Holmes and Ainsworth of Ontario. Larry Ainsworth trains. She comes in undefeated. Two of two. Winner by three in her elimination with a mark of 56 and three. Ken Hardy driving Rose Crow from post position seven. The two is a daughter of Jake Lobel over the Kentuckiana Racing Stable of Lexington. Alan Regal trains with a mark of 158 and two. Finishing second in her elimination behind Rose Crow. From post three, it's Giggles and Grins with Dave Miller. And her stable mate is also a daughter of Jake Lobel. And she's also owned by the Kentucky and a racing stable of Lexington. Troy Boring trains with a mark of 156. In uh, both Grand Circuit and elimination of the Pink Bonnet here at Cider Downs. Earnings of $13,000 from post six. Troy Boring driving so right. Number three is a Bay daughter of the Michigan Stallion Ombro Cadets. Over Marsham, Lois Field of Rochester Hills, Michigan, Troy Boring Trains. With a mark of 157 and 2 in her elimination of the pink bonnet. Earnings of $10,000. Chris Boring driving glitters like gold from post 2. Number 4 is a daughter of No Nuke, Soma Wilson Witten and Regina Willinger of Florida and Kentucky. Wilson Witten Trains. Making her fifth career start. A big mile for her last week as she was beaten a neck in 156. Don Irvine Jr. driving. Halfway to heaven from post four. The five is an, an Ohio bred daughter of Rocky Bogart. Batania and Ted Parker, Valeria, Ohio, Joe Asik, the uh, trainer. A mark of 159 and two, finishing third in her elimination. Joe Asik Jr. driving, Baroque Bogart. Number six is another Ohio bred daughter of Noble Aunt Sam, owned by Shirley and Janet Bay, Martin and Shelley Pauley of Ohio, Ron Potter, the trainer. Finishing third behind So Right in her elimination of the Pink Bonnet. She'll score from post eight. Mike Wilder driving Noble Marty. And the uh, seven horse is a daughter of Cam Fellow by Richard Staley Limited of Los Angeles, California. Doug Ackerman, the trainer. Finishing third in her elimination behind uh, Rose Crow from post number nine. Kara Mia Hanover for DR. Ackerman. There's your field, ladies and gentlemen, for the 1996 Pink Bonnet Final. For the 1996 Pink Bonnet Cheerio Philly Final. A field of nine. They swing to the back stretch for the start. There they go. And uh, they're off. And glitters like gold from the inside. First for the lead, but on the outside, quickly there goes So Right. So Right powers to the front end. And from the outside, here comes Noble Marty. Around the first turn and on the uh, front, So Right for the lead. On the inside, glitters like gold. And Noble Marty is looking for a seat, desperately looking for a seat. On the outside is third. At the rail and racing a fourth. All through the night to the outside and racing a fifth. It's Rose Crow, the opening quarter, 28 and 2. Coming to the stretch. And on the front with a lead here. It's so right. And to the outside, Noble Marty is now parked at the rail. It glitters like gold third. To the outside, fourth. Rose Crow inside five all through the night. To the outer flow, sick now. Comes Kara Mia Hanover at the rail in seventh. Giggles and grins of the inside eighth. It's Baruch Bogart and the uh, trailer far back halfway to heaven. They're approaching the half and so right. Getting a moderate trip here. 58 and two to the half. She leads her by two glitters like gold is right behind her second. Three wide. Here comes Rose Crow and Rose Crow is fifth. 
then fourth, now third, now second, and Rose Crow moving right on by. Rose Crow by a nose, a neck, a half a length. But on the inside, so right coming right back of the inside, and these two are now slugging it out. Glitters like gold at the rail, out of the outside. All through the night in striking position, three quarters, 127. And so right, putting away Rose Crow, who begins to fade. Glitters like gold on the inside is racing a second. And up the rail, giggles and grins, looking now for racing room. And to the outside comes all through the night. Lost at an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. So right with a lead by two, she's led throughout, giggles and grins. Coming at them and coming on, all through the night. Far outside, into deep stretch. So right, giggles and grins, not enough here. It's so right, gate to wire, giggles and grins. Second all through the night, up for third. Jake Lobel from the Abercrombie Mare, Bumbling Brown. Over the Kentucky and a racing stable of Lexington, Kentucky, Troy Boring, the trainer driver. She comes in this evening with three consecutive victories and now adds a fourth in five starts. Only three fifths of a second off her career mark, pacing tonight's mile in 156 and three fifths. Trackside to make the trophy presentation, the vice president and director of Cider Downs, Mrs. Charles Hill. President and director, Mr. Robert Steele, also trackside from uh, Blevins Tour and Travel is Tim and Augie Blevins. And also from U.S. Air, who will be providing the airfare for the winning trainer, Angie Ransdell, Celine Ransdell, and Don Ransdell, and also Janet Kelly Herr of U.S. Air. Well, the 11th race is now official. The 2-1 Perfecta paying $8.40, 840. The 2-1-3 Trifecta, $32.60, 3260. Again, look at your tickets very closely. A 2-1 Perfecta is live, and a 2-1-3 Trifecta is live. 